So what's happening, people? It's me again, Courtney, doing my MMA predictions. This time it's for UFC Fight for the Troops 2, aka Ultimate Fight Night 23, which will take place on Saturday, the 22nd of January 2011 at Fort Hood in Texas. Um, yes, I'm late with this video. Uh, I was in two minds whether to do a video about this or not because the fight card is, well, you know, slightly underwhelming to say the least. Um, there's a lot of fights I'm not interested in, um, particularly on the main card. Um, but you never know, it may prove to be entertaining. Um, the waves are happening right now, I think. That's how late I am. Um, but anyway, um, as I said, there's some fights I'm not really bothered about. There's other fights that could have been on the main card instead of the main card fights. But anyway, um, main fight on the card. Main fight on the card is Evan Dunham versus Melvin Gillard. Um, I'll start with Melvin Gillard, um, the young assassin. He's five foot nine. He's got a twenty six eight and two record. Um, he's a very experienced guy for his age. Um, Melvin Gillard has got. A, got some wicked striking and his stand was really good um he's got decent takedown defense as well um and obviously he's training with jackson so they with all those wrestler types down there clay guida um you know all them type of guys down there pushing him for his takedown defense yeah he's quite decent takedown defense but his submission game is weak um i don't think he's really got anything he, he's got a lot of power um I'm not going to say he's explosive. <laughs> but yeah, very powerful. Um, very powerful guy for, for his weight anyway. Um, strong, fast. Um, he's got experience on his side as well. Um, he's on a four-fight win streak. Is it a four-fight win streak? I don't know. But in his last five fights, his last fight was against Jeremy Stevens. He won that. Uh, I think that's why a decision. His last five fights, he's had four wins and one loss. Um, could it be that since he's training at Jackson's he's getting more decisions because his last five fights are three decisions I don't know you tell me but he's fighting Evan Dunham uh, he's five foot ten he's got an 11 and one record um, this guy's doing well basically he's doing well rounded guy he's got the wrestling he's got the jits his stand up's decent as well obviously he's a good wrestler um, he's training at Stream Couture uh he's got a good stamina as well as he showed in his last fight um he can take a beating as well um this guy was really surprised at at first when i first seen him i thought oh, he's okay but in the last fight I, which i thought he won against sean shark he done really well i thought he won the fight um obviously his last fight was a loss against sean shark um in his last five fights he had four wins and one loss um Evan Dunham, yeah, he's an upcoming guy. Everyone's talking about this guy. He's a really good fighter. Um, but I think for this fight, I'm going to pick Evan Dunham to win the fight, but Evan Dunham's got to work his top game. If he's going to take Melvin Gillard down, he's got to work his top game. He can't expect to sit on the bottom and catch Gillard, I don't think, Gillard in any sort of move. Um, Nick Diaz was able to do it. Oh, is it Nick Diaz? No, sorry, Nate Diaz was able to do it, but I know people was, but Gerard will be wise to everything now, so he'll just get out. You can't work bottom game on him because you've got to, you've got to time up and keep him on the ground. And I don't think Dunham will do that. Um, but he may do, I don't know, but I don't think he will. So he's got to work his top game. Um, so he's got to take Gerard down and keep him down. Um, possibly work the dirty boxing in the clinch as well. Because Gerard likes to stand out and throw shots, you know, and try and knock people out. Um, but I'm going to pick Dunham to win. I'm not sure how, but I'm going to pick Dunham to win. Um, maybe by decision. Um, next on the card, I can't say I'm too bothered about this fight in the slightest. Matt Mitrione versus Tim Haig. Um, Mitrione, meathead from the Ultimate Fighter with um, Kimbo and all them guys. Um, not heavyweight fight. Um, he's got a 3-0 record. He's 6'2". He's got decent striking. He's got a lot of heart as well. Um, he can take a beating. Obviously, he's had three wins. He's relatively inexperienced. He's got three wins, and zero losses. Um, his last fight was a win against Joe Beltran, who is fighting on the card as well. But he's fighting Tim Haig. He's got a twelve and four record. He's six foot four. Um, he was in the UFC. Got dropped after two or three losses. 
got some wins outside the UFC. Now he's back in again. Um, the last five fights had two wins and three losses. Um, for this fight, I'm going to pick... Last time I picked against Mitrio, but this time I'm going to pick Mitrio to win via TKO. Um, he just surprised me. He's a bit, I think he's a bit tapped in the head as well. I don't know. He's crazy. I'm not too bothered about that fight. Um, the next fight I'm looking at is Mark Hominick versus George Roop. Um, this is a, uh, is this a featherweight. Yeah, this is a featherweight. Um, Hominick has got a 19 and 8 record. He's 5 foot 8. He's got a lot of experience in, I think it's the Canadian organisation, TKO and UCC, I think it is. Um, very good striker. He's on a four fight win streak at the moment. Um, his last fight was a win via decision against Leonard Garcia. And his last five fights have four wins and one loss. Um, he's fighting George Roop, who's already been in the UFC. Um, got beat up by George Sotopoulos. Come out of the UFC. Went into the WEC as a uh, featherweight. That's one lanky ass skinny featherweight right there. Um, he's got 11 6 to 1 record. Uh, he's a rangy fighter. Because he's so tall, he can kick people. And that's this Korean zombie fan that he got kicked in the head. Uh, most wins of our decision. This is set as I said before, his second time in the UFC. Um, I'm not sure what his jits is like, but against Sotopoulos, I seen that. I think it was a Kimura or Arbor. I seen that coming from a mile away, and I just wondered why he didn't escape. Um, his last fight was a win against the Korean Zombie Chang Song Jung. Um, his last five fights are two win, two wins, two losses, and one draw. Um, for this fight. I'm going to go with Mark Hominick. I think he's got the edge. Um, yeah, I think he's going to win via TKO. If he can get inside, I think he can beat George Roop. Um, but, you know, George Roop's got them big, long, monkey arms. So, yeah. Mark Hominick. Uh, next fight on the card is Pat Barry versus Joe Beltrain, um, again, this is a fight I'm not too really worried about or bothered about. Um, but I'm just going to come out and say it. I think Pat Barry is going to win. He needs to win. Um, dude should have smashed Crowcott. Uh, obviously, I haven't seen the interview, but I think he knows his faults against Crowcott. He should have, well, his hand got broken, I think. Um, but yeah, Pat Barry, finish. If the guy's hurt, finish him. Um, obviously, Pat Barry is a good striker. He's got a five and two record. He's five foot eleven. Um, his submission defense is weak, to say the least. Um, I'm not sure if he's got much in the gas tank. Um, obviously, his last fight was the loss against Crowcop. His last five fights has had three wins and two losses. Two losses have come by a submission: one to Crowcop and one to Tim Hague, I think it was. Um, he's fighting the Mexican, I think it is Joe Beltran, who's got a twelve and four record. Who's six foot two. Good striker. Um, he finishes all, almost all of his fights. Most wins via TKO. His last fight was a loss against Matt Mitrion by a decision. And his last five fights are three wins and two losses. Pat Barry needs to win this fight. Um, yeah, he needs to win this fight, but I think he wants to stay in the UFC. He needs to win. He can't. He can't. I don't think any of them can afford to lose. But Barry needs to step up and smash people and I think he can I think he'll beat Joe Belgian. Um I only thought they would do four fights on the main card but it appears they may bring five and the other one is Cole Miller versus Matt Wyman um, that that's a good fight um, off the top of my head because I haven't got any notes for that fight because I didn't think they were doing it on the main card but I think they are um, Cole Miller American top team guy. I think he's a brown belt or yeah, brown belt Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. His last fight was a win against Ross Pearson, which shocked me. Ross Pearson was winning that fight. Cole Miller came out and just smashed him. Um, yeah, Cole Miller likes to talk a lot as well. Uh, Matt Wyman, uh, very good wrestler. Um, what do they call him? Handsome Matt Wyman or something like that? Yeah. But. Um, I'm going to pick Cole Miller to win the fight. I think he's got the tools. I think he can. He might submit him somehow. Um, he'll tie up Matt Wyman on the ground and submit him. Um, I think that's the, all the main card. Um, 
the rest of the fights, like Eve Edwards versus, I think it's Cody McKenzie, that should have been on the main card for me. Uh, I think Eve Edwards is a wicked fighter. Um, I think he's a really good fighter. I'm glad he's back in the UFC anyway. Um, the other fight on the card is Mike Brown, Mike Thomas Brown versus Randy Yaya, Yaha, sorry. That should have been on the main card. Jesus. Come on, UFC, man. I should put on the main card. Take some of these, the heavy, these heavyweight fights, these two heavyweight fights. Take them off. Um, there's some... Oh, I can't remember the other ones that were on there, but those two stuck in my mind. They should have been on the main card. Definitely Mike Brown. Um, do it bad. But anyway, those are my quick predictions. I really didn't... Not too fussed about this card. I'm more bothered about the UFC 126 coming down in February. That looks good. I hope everyone stays fit and can fight because there's some wicked fights on that card. Um, but anyway, follow me on Twitter. The same username, Choke Who. Um, check back, I think, probably in the next couple of days for my diary of a Leicester shoot fighter in prep for my fight in March. Um, but yeah, check out fightukmma.co.uk for the fight card um, that I'm on. Um, and yeah we'll check back soon peace